welcome to Periwinkle Stitches. Welcome back to everybody that was here before and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I have had a few new subscribers, so welcome to all of you. Um, it's been a little while since my last podcast. I think I podcast back in November and I did a few vlogs in December. Um, so to anyone who watched and liked those, thank you. I did enjoy it. I cut it short um, just because things changed here in the UK. Um, but hoping to maybe do it again this year in 2021. Um, and hopefully it will be a very different Christmas. I hope that everyone did enjoy their Christmas. Um, it, was, uh, it was very different for us. We usually go and see family. We have a big party on Boxing Day and we were going to go to my mother and father-in-law's for Christmas Day. But because of the changes, that didn't happen. But we did, we did manage to have a really lovely Christmas at home, just the three of us. And it was a much calmer, slower paced Christmas. I'm a little bit out of practice. Um, because it's been such a while since I did podcast. But I have got a few things to share with you. And I think I'm going to start with, I have got some notes because I know that I'll just forget otherwise. A lot of finished objects. A lot of the finished objects that I had being given as gifts over the Christmas period. So I will insert some pictures for you to have a look at those. The first were the Sedana, yeah, Sedama. Everything will be in the description below so you can have a look at the show notes as to what I have made and I'll try and write it below as well for you. Um, it were, yeah, so I finished three pairs of the Sedana mittens, I think it's Sedana, um, and they were teacher gifts. And I, I'm trying to remember what I did now because it was a while ago, but I made three pairs in a grey, a cream and a green and two of them I teamed with some drops silk mohair and they were gifted um, to Joshua's teachers. Joshua is my six year old son um, and they were gifted to those before the Christmas break. Um, and, and they they came back and they said how how they, how much they liked them and how they'd be really useful in the playground. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was that was nice. And I, it was it's always nice to have your knitting appreciated when you gift it, and to know that it's been well received. I'm glad I found the time to finish them off. The other um, finished object that I had and have given as a Christmas gift was for my husband. James. I made him a pair of just, well they weren't vanilla, I did a like a, a wide rib on them so that it would give it a bit of stretch. Um, so it was my own recipe, I didn't follow a pattern or anything. And they took forever to make. I don't know, I think if I'm ever going to make men's socks again, I'm more aware of how big they are and how much bigger they are and how much longer they take to make, but he loved them. And he wears them a lot, actually. Um, they were in a Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit colourway. And it was King of Men. So I'll insert a picture of those as well for you to see what they look like. Um, he's worn them every day. So I can't really show you the the actual socks. Because they're, I think they're in the wash, actually. So I'm trying to think what else I made. Oh, I finished the Expecto Patronum mittens for my sister and they have been posted off to her. So that was a really good, um, I was really pleased to have finished those because they had been on my needles for quite a while. I think I showed them to you and I have, hadn't made the mohair insert. I finished all of that and they have been posted. I have shared pictures of these things on my Instagram. So those of you that follow me on Instagram will have seen those probably. Um, what else? Check my notes, what else did I finish? And I have finished my first um, 
the January rainbow socks, which were a pale pink. And I've just noticed that I don't have them here with me. So I'm just going to go and get those now. Okay, so I think I was talking to you about my rainbow socks for the Rainbow Sock Chronicles, which is being hosted by Jules from So Sweet Violet and Kelly of Lay Family Yarn. They are running a rainbow sock along this year. Um, it's hashtag, hashtag the Rainbow Sock Chronicles 2021. Um, and I have finished the first um, instalment, which is the January, and January was pink. So I ha now have a lovely pair of pink socks. And this is them. Oh, the light's shining behind. You can see the, the bunny sock blockers. Maybe I can try and show them to you like that. So that you can see them a bit clearer. So it's got all these lovely um, little eyelets in the pattern. Really fun knit, not too complicated. Um, enough interest to keep me um, engaged in it, in the pattern, um, but simple enough to pick it up quickly and just knit whilst I was watching a bit of TV. Um, Bridgerton, actually. I was watching a lot of Bridgerton whilst knitting these. I don't know whether anybody else has watched Bridgerton, but I absolutely loved it. And I cannot wait for the second, see, uh, the second season. It's good great watch so yeah they're quite pretty the yarn is a wild wildflower yarns and it's the princess rose colorway and it's got these lovely hopefully you can see it's got these lovely flecks of different colors in there so some bits of blue and bits of orange purple I think there's some probably see here there's some lots of lovely little so it was really interesting to knit with as well I wasn't expecting it to have so many flecks of colour in there um, and then as I started to knit with it I noticed them all popping up and it was really it was really nice really nice yarn really nice pattern and I now have a pair of pink socks my first socks of the year and hope by the end of the year I will have a rainbow of socks it'll be a really nice thing to have I'm not going to wear my socks until I have a full rainbow so that at the end of this I can have them all in a circle um I'll show you the pin because I I couldn't resist I had to have the pin that Jules has on her website hopefully you can see that you can give it to focus on there if not i'll pop a picture in that, to show you but that is the rainbow of socks and i'd love to have something like this at the end where i have all my socks in a circle unworn um so that i can get a nice picture of them before i start wearing them and getting them dirty so they will go into They'll go into storage until the end of the year and then I'll get to wear them and remember the knit along in 2022, which will, which will be nice. Um, the next colour in the rainbow is um, sort of pinks into reds, which I already have my yarn all set up for that and I'll, I'll show you those a bit later. But yeah, so I thought I'd share those with you. My first rainbow socks. I'll put those. Um, the, and that is everything for my finished objects. Um, I've actually been working on a lot of scrappy projects. I think that's what I'm drawn to at the moment. Um, just because it's, it, I can sit and not have to worry about following a pattern time. And I think that's because of the position that we're all in at the moment in the UK. Um, for those of you that don't live in the UK, we are in our third lockdown. So things, it's, the schools are closed, so we're home, it's, lots of people are homeschooling. And I think at the end of a week, 
a working week where I'm also homeschooling my little boy alongside my husband. And I, all I want to do is sit down and knit on something really simple that I don't have to think about, where we can just cuddle on the sofa and have some quality family time where we're not working or homeschooling and that that's what I'm drawn to at the moment and I think a lot of knitters from what I've seen on podcasts are in a similar mindset at the moment where they're really drawn to their scrappy projects and so I'm going to show you a few of my whips which are mostly my scrappy projects at the moment um I've actually realized that I haven't shown you um another whip I'll show you that and then I'll show you the scrappy projects. Um, so these were my Christmas socks. And Christmas seems like such a long time ago, that's why I've forgotten to show them to you. I'll put them on sock blockers. Again, these were on my Instagram, so anybody that follows me on Instagram will have seen these. And I haven't worn these ones yet. These are gonna, I'll probably wear these. I finished these on Oh, I think I finished them before the 12 days of Christmas were up. So before the 6th of January, I think I finished on the 5th of January. Um, so they haven't been worn yet because I'll save them for this Christmas. But I love them. I just love them. I'm trying to remember. These were the Peppermint Snow Pattern by Vanilla Wool. And it's got this lovely stitch pattern down the front of the sock sort of really nice texture to it. Um, two by two rib. It's got the, like a simple gusset there. Um, not much to say about them. The wool is by, uh, it's a Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit yarn. And it was the Holly and the Ivy colorway. And I just love it. If those colours aren't showing, giving, you know, doing the yarn justice, I will pop a picture in because it's just lovely. I think I've I've said before that I love Mrs. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Rabbit yarns. They're just really good at getting those colours, the, their colourways, and they really reflect what the name of the yarn is. I just think they're they're lovely. Bit of a fan, as you can tell. So those were my Christmas socks. Oh, my Christmas Eve cast on and I finished them. I was determined to finish them before the end of the 12 days of Christmas and I did, so I was really pleased. So that was another finished object that I wanted to show you. So then I can move on to the whips. So in here, this is my Duckpool Lane um, bag. And this is my granny, my scrappy granny stripe blanket. It's I haven't done much on it, but I really love working on it. It's a nice, relaxing project to work on. Um, so let's see, it's quite, I've got it quite wide. I wanted a wide one so that it would go across us all on the sofa when we're watching films. So it does, it's got all of the, yarns in there that I've used over the course of a year. So I've got um, where are my peachy, my peachy socks in there that I made and Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. B's yarns there that I used in my son's jumper that I knitted last year. It's got a, a cream in there that I used for my sister's socks. So there's lots of memories in this one as well. It's also got my um, unicorn poop colour in there that I made a pair of socks with. So yeah, lots of lovely um, memories of projects that I've worked on in the past. Um, and I, uh, I've got lots of little tiny balls in here that just like bits of scraps left over from projects that I'm gonna add into the blanket. I am doing a magic knot ball um, just makes it easier. I can spend a bit of time put adding colours to this and then when I feel like knitting on it I don't have to to worry it all just just kind of knits itself really and not, not 
got not much more to say on that really other than it's just one of those projects if you've not got a, a scrappy project like this i would definitely recommend it lots of nice colors in there i so i look at it and i'm reminded of projects that i've worked on i can see there that there's a la family yarn one there that i did my um hocus pocus socks so yeah, it's nice knitting on it because it does remind you of things that you've worked on and achievements in your knitting. I've got, I've actually got a little bit of um, King of Men colourway from James's socks left over. That's all I had left after knitting a pair of men's socks. I usually have far more than that left over, but that's going to go into my scrappy project as well. I think I'll show you my litmus cowl. So I decided that I I had a Nora George yarns advent for Christmas. So I was able to open a different mini skein every day and I absolutely loved it. I I think this year I'm gonna want more advents. So I I will definitely um get another advent this year because I just love doing it so much. So I went with the Nora George Yarns advent and it was a secret garden theme. So I did, it took me ages to decide what I wanted to use them for because I wanted it to be something that I would wear a lot and get the use out and be able to appreciate the individual yarns and how they look and the cut and represent the colours really nicely. So I went with the lip the litmus cow because I think it was I thought it was the best way to show all the individual colours in the order that I opened them as well um, and I've teamed it with a grey um, this is a cascade heritage in a silver grey I think can't remember um, so yeah, this is I've got to colour 14 so I'm over halfway now and it's lovely. I just, I really like knitting. I get really, I, you get to the grey and then the reward of knitting through the grey is then adding in another colour. And I just love adding in those colours and seeing how they knit, knit up. And each, Tracy's colours are just so lovely. She's got some gorgeous colorways and I really love every single one of those and I can't wait to have it finished it's um it's got to be quite a nice size actually and I think it will wrap double over and be quite snugly so yeah that's um my litmus cowl I have run out of the gray and I don't I didn't didn't, I was hoping it was going to last, but I, I literally have a tiny little nugget left. So I, I'm either going to have to do a swap with somebody or um, buy some more. Yeah, so my litmus cow and I've got, these are the, some of the colours I've got left over and I've got them all like this with the number that they were. So that's number 21. And the names for each of them were so lovely. Like this one is called Spring Is Come. I think we're all looking forward to spring more so than any other year this year. Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely colors. So I've got a few more of those to knit into this once I've got the grey um, and I have actually got little bits left over so I'm really getting the most out of my advent, um, really making the most out of it because then I've got some colours left over and the little bits that I've got left over so for example that's the green I've got a little bit left over there and I'm adding it into another kind of I guess it's another scrappy project um which is my Battenberg 
that's how much I've got so far. And these are all of Nora George's Advent yarns as well. So I'm adding just the leftovers into the Battenberg. It's really trying to get it so the light doesn't shine through so you can see the colours. But yeah, I'm really enjoying that. And that's the Battenberg Blanket by Sandra Cherry Hart. And she's also got a podcast. Um, but this, I've wanted to knit this for a long, long time. Um, and it's just lovely. Really, really enjoying it. And this is crochet, which is nice to have a crochet project as well as the knitting projects because it kind of mixes it up a bit. So that's my Battenberg. I think that's a really popular pattern. I see a lot of people knitting the Battenberg and it's like with any, I don't know if anybody else does this, but if I ever start a new project, I always like to go onto Instagram and have a look at everybody, what everybody else has um, made and what colors they're using in their Battenbergs or in their granny stripes or see the different litmus cows. Um, so yes, I like I like doing that. I like to see what other people have been doing on the same project. Have a little bit of my tea before it goes cold. I think I'm losing the light. This is probably the best light in the house. Um, this I'm actually in my son's playroom, and this is like my little corner of the playroom where I put all of my crafting and my knitting stuff when I'm not using it. So it's a nice little, nice little uh, nook in here. And behind the camera, there's just toys everywhere. <laughs> so, cause so it's, it's a double, it being used as a, a crafty space and a toy room, but so yeah. It's, but I think I am losing the light today. Um, what else have I got to show you? Let's have a look. So um, I think before the last time I podcast, I was working on my Lola socks. I'm still working on my Lola socks. I have one sock finished. And I think I, sh I think I showed you this last time that I'd finished one sock, but I haven't cast on the second yet. I think it's because I, I, I put this one down, I put this project down in order to start my Christmas socks and then I moved on to my rainbow socks and I haven't gone back to these yet, but I will because it's a lovely pattern. It's um, a So Sweet Violet pattern. It's the Lola sock. For those of you that didn't see my last podcast, it's um, these were my socks for the Strictly sock along but I didn't actually watch any of Strictly this year or last year um but I did enjoy knitting the socks I love the pattern definitely I would definitely recommend the pattern if you haven't tried it already um the yarn is Mutant Mermaid so yeah they are still a work in progress um I love the yarn I love the pattern so I will, I will cast on the second one, but um, haven't done it yet. But that's my, I've got my little dobby pin on there. And this is not really, um, this isn't a work in progress because I haven't actually started it. I'm filming, this is the 30th of January. So this is for my second rainbow sock chronicle for the sort of the pinks into reds. Um, I have got them all, this is one sock. So I'm gonna try and do two at a time and I might magic knot ball these. Um, and then I've got the others in here. So they're all kind of like reds and pinks. So lots of, um, lots of little mini bits and pieces because I didn't want to 
buy a whole skein of yarn for every sock. I wanted to use up what I have in the house. Um, so I went through, I did have a little rummage through my stash and I managed to find lots of, um, I suppose, uh, as So Sweet Violet calls them, beautiful bits. Um, so I found all of those and I put them all together. Um, I'll pop a picture in here to show you my rainbow um, of yarn, that the colours that I'm going to use. And you can see in there how I've um, picked out all of the tiny little bits. And I'm, I'm going to have quite a few stripy socks in my future, I think. Um, just using up all the little nuggets of yarn. So... Yeah, and I'm going to team that with probably a, um, I've got it in here, a drops nord. Just in case I don't have enough, I'll probably finish off the toe or I might do cuffs in this or the toe. I have got a pattern in mind for those. Just grab it. Because... Um, Lauren of Nitty Natty New has, she's been designing some patterns and one of them is her candy fluff slouch socks. So I'm, I'm thinking that I may do my rainbow socks in, uh, for these socks. Use my reds and pinks for my rainbow socks and use Lauren's pattern. And there is her, her pattern. Candy fluff slouch socks. Um, my printout does not do it justice at all. It's got these lines across. I don't know why it did that, but um, it looks like a, a lovely pattern, and I'm really excited to get going with those and make those for my next pair of rainbow socks. Um, so yeah, so that's that's a kind of a hopeful knit, but it's more of a hopeful knit because I'm definitely going to be. Um, casting those on in the next couple of days and I wanted to show you these because these were also from Lauren I did a swap with Lauren over like an advent swap um this year for Christmas um and we did a 12 days of Christmas swap and she put these lovely colors together for me and I opened each one of them um throughout the 12 days of Christmas and she did, she gave me, um, she purchased me a copy of the Snuggle Down Cow. So I'm probably going to use those for that. Or, yeah, or a cowl of some kind anyway. If it's not the Snuggle Down, it will definitely be a cowl. Um, but yeah, so I've got those in there they're gorgeous colors i've said thank you to lauren but if she's watching thank you again i really enjoyed opening them it really it was really nice it was a lovely thing to do in those 12 days of christmas after having had my um yarn advent throughout the throughout december it was really nice to have those as well and she put some other gifts in there as well for me which was really kind and yeah it was really nice and I hope that we can do that again this year um but yeah that'll probably be turned into a snuggle down cowl or, or a cow anyway if not that in terms of crafty treats I haven't really been buying an awful lot of yarn um the only things that I've purchased recently have been my pin um, for the Rainbow Sock Chronicles and also I have started the Wild Flower Yarn um, well, Wild Flower Blanket Club by Nora George Yarns um, which I you can see here um, I can show them to you they're gorgeous colours um, I've got December, January, December, January and February here um, and they're lovely. It's a nice surprise actually, it's a nice um, thing to receive in the post because it's a surprise every month and 
I, I often forget I, I'll put my order through in the month before because it's done before the month. So um, February is I ordered in January, January is I ordered in December. Um, and then I kind of forget that I've ordered them and that they're on their way. Um, and then they come through the door and it's a really nice surprise. And so I've got three here. If you haven't received yours um, or you haven't opened them or they've been gifted to you, then just look away now because I'm going to show you the three that I have, including February's. Um, so this was December's. I hope we're not losing the light too much. Probably see them okay. So that's December's. And they're just lovely. I really like the colours. And then I'm also getting the 50 gram skein with my set as well because I just um I wanted something that I could make a blanket with, but then also have something to make some socks with or add into a another project. So that's that was a mistletoe. And then these ones are all the little minis. And I haven't got the card, so I don't know what all the individual colours are, but they're just lovely. They're really nice sort of pastel colours. So that was December's, because Tracy did like, um, she did a special December one before the year started. And then this one was January's, and that is Snowdrop. See that okay it's lovely it's got yellows in there and little bits of green just really nice and that was the minis that came with it so some really nice bright ones in there nice yellow and a green really really nice and then this one in particular i think if you've not received it yet then look away because this is the most recent one and this was this is february's so it's this one here And it's called Bermuda Buttercup. Mine are all in a four ply. I'm wishing that I had gone for a double knit because I don't actually have any double knit in my stash. But I think if I want to make socks, and I probably will, I may even use that one in the Rainbow Sock Chronicles for the yellow that's coming up later in the year because it's a gorgeous yellow got really nice um flecks of orange in there as well it's really pretty and Tracy's artwork oh George it's really pretty and then these were the minis that came with that set got a nice purple sort of greenish sort of a greeny sort of with flecks of purple in that one like a blue more violet blues and a pink and another yellow one there. So they're a nice little treat. And I actually don't have a huge stash of yarn. This that you see here, that is my entire stash of hand dyed yarns. Um, everything else that I have is kind of um, more mass produced yarn. Um, so for example like west yorkshire spinners sock yarns and things like that so that is that's all of my my hand dyed yarn there so i don't have a, a huge stash so i don't feel too guilty about getting the wildflower blanket club um and it's a really nice treat to have at the beginning of every month and i kind of feel like i need that at the moment <laughs> And that's, that's all of my whips, works in progress, my finished objects. Not huge amounts to actually show you because a lot of my finished objects were given as gifts. Um, one thing that I will show you was a gift that I received um, from the lovely Helen um, Flora Honey, Flora Honey Pot. Um, so Helen, we did a, I did the Flora's Christmas gift swap. Um, Helen of Flora 
Flora's honey pot was um, my uh, swappy, my, my friend to swap with. And she gave me some really lovely things. I had some lovely things for the Christmas tree. I had some nice treats. I had some really nice tea. Um, so yeah, really, really nice. I was really pleased. And she also sent me this. which it smells really nice because it's been in my drawer and I put these um, sachets in with my knitwear. I think it keeps away moths. You can, um, it smells really nice. It's got all the details on the back there. And I think part of the reason I got them is because it does deter moths from your knitwear. So I got those, but they smell really nice. So it's all, I can smell it all on this lovely scarf. Um, and this was my, there was um, there were some rules to the swap. And one of them was that one of the gifts had to be a handmade item. Um, I made Helen a little uh, notions pouch, which I'll pop in and show you what that was, what that looked like. And Helen sent me this. It's really lovely. It's so lacy and it's a cro it's crocheted and it's really drapey and lovely just so pretty really clever work just love the edging and the colors and it's blue is one of my favorite colors so it's nice and it's just um it's actually quite a nice um decorative scarf to wear and isn't it lovely how when you're gifted something like this, it's probably not something I would have said, I'm going to make that for myself. But then when you receive it as a gift, you think, gosh, I really love that. It's really nice. You can tell that you sort of wear it over a coat or anything and it shows up all that lovely lace work. It's really nice. And it's, I think it's nice to receive things from people that you possibly wouldn't have necessarily have made it for yourself because it kind of makes you think well maybe I'll try something like that then because it suits me and I I enjoy wearing it I just so if Helen's watching thank you Helen again it's really pretty and I have worn it quite a few times so yeah I think that's everything I think this might be a slightly shorter podcast than previous because I don't have as much to show you um, I'm hoping that I won't leave it as long for my next one but I think that really depends on how things go um, I'll show you my mug before I go this was a present from my mother-in-law um, she knows me very very well and she bought me a great big massive bag of tea Yorkshire tea um, I don't know why I was doing that, to show you how big it was. Um, but yeah, she got me a, a massive bag of Yorkshire tea, which is my favourite. And she got me this mug, which says, Knitting keeps me from unravelling. And I have to say, that has never been a truer phrase than now. <laughs> Knitting really is my go to place to unwind and relax and it is a mindful activity that is just perfect for now especially and I'm sure that a lot of knitters can relate to that and is I just feel very lucky that I have my crafts to fall on and go to in this time because it does make me you know I'm focusing on the stitches and the colors of the yarn and it does chill me out and I don't I'm not sort of as worried about things when I'm doing those projects so for that I am very thankful and on that note I'm going to say goodbye just look after yourself be kind to yourself thanks for watching if you've enjoyed this give me a thumbs up give me a like um and subscribe you know it helps get my podcast seen and for other people to enjoy thanks very much goodbye
forever so I can hold you in my arms I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm able scare the monsters under your bed.